channeling the marvelous Mrs. Maisel as we are about to embark on a new bus tour featuring some iconic New York City spots from the show. Let's go. Who gives a toast at her own wedding? I do. Okay, I love that we are both channeling Mrs. Maisel Absolutely. today. You look fabulous. I mean, the hats, we got the coat, the gloves, the shoes. We We're going are ready. In. So I know. tell me what this tour is all about. So this tour is all about exploring New York City uh, through the eyes of Midge Maisel. And this obviously takes place in the late 50s. So we get to see these really beautiful old school buildings and you know these retro interiors that are actually featured on the show, which is so exciting. All right, well, without much further ado, I'm so excited to go on this Me tour. Too. So ready? Let's do it. I am not a prostitute, I'm a comic. Is there a difference? Yes. Prostitutes get paid more. All right, good morning, everyone. And welcome to Mrs. Maisel's marvelous tour of New York City. Are we excited? Yes. Yes. I want you to look to your left-hand side. So this is actually the old B. Altman, where we see Midge Maisel thrilled because she just got a job as the makeup counter girl. So this is where you hang out now? Well, you know, I never like to be more than three feet from a lipstick. Now, we are heading into the Soho area. We are going to a pretty fantastic uh, butcher shop. We, we got, got the rabbi! Another iconic scene that does exist. So you can still come here. How cool is this? We are now heading to uh, Greenwich Village. And we're going to be checking out Cafe Reggio. This is actually the first place and the first coffee shop to serve cappuccino. And it actually started as a barber shop. This is where we see Abe, Midge's father. He's meeting up with his lawyer to discuss some political matters. Just a 50s girl living in the 2020s world. So this is the old Gaslight Cafe. This is where it was. It's now called Up and Up Cocktails. Oh. Up New York's got a set of these at home. Rickles, maybe. So now we're gonna head to the Music Inn. This is where we see Midge with Susie exploring different comedy records. And this is also where Susie discovers that they've been selling Midge's stand-up. Hey, this is my client. How many of these have you sold? Don't you run from me. We are now heading to Washington Square Park. So many women in one place. Two for one pantyhose. <laughs> the other great thing about these tours is everyone is so nice and will take your photo. So super Instagrammable. Now, Mick Sorley's is a staple here in New York City, and this is the oldest Irish bar in New York. Something really interesting about it is that they were the last New York City bar to uh, basically say no to women entering. They were forced to do it in the 70s. So we've come to realize that they call it Cedar Tavern, which actually is a real place. Um, obviously not around anymore, but when it was around, poets were there, famous artists as well. That's Franz Klein. It is. Do you know him? No. Oh, I do. I own him. How colonial of you. Now the last location is a very special one. This is where it all started with Midge and Joel. So we're about to see the diner where they go on dates, where we have tons of these beautiful flashbacks of when things were happier. Perfect wedding, perfect breakfast, perfect life. So if you need more Midge Maisel in your life, jump on the bus because the tour is truly marvelous.